the other type of discrimination that I faced on the other extreme end is within my own family, actually extended family. Uh, previously, when I wasn't um, wearing the tudung yet, uh, my mom wasn't wearing the tudung yet, and so we were more like a circular uh, Muslim family. Uh, I've had relatives who come over to my house and they didn't want to consume any of the food we serve to them. Uh, it, they only took plain water. Uh, I noticed that pattern continuing even after I've put on the tudung and my, 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 whole, my family has put on the tudung. It, it still persisted and, and I was actually asking myself why. I didn't want to go right up to the relatives to ask why this happened because I noticed that they would actually eat at my auntie's house. My auntie and her family have been putting on the tudung since a long time back. So uh, uh, we finally got the answer when my mom uh, invited those relatives over for my sister's wedding. And then they declined the invitation saying that they can't confirm whether the food is halal. Uh, which we thought were ridic was ridiculous because it was a halal caterer, the venue and all that were according to the uh, guidelines. This family is not deemed as being religious enough to fit their mould of what a true Muslim family should be. It offended me greatly because I try my hardest to actually try to be the best Muslim I can be while still trying to fit into this circular world and here I am being judged by my own relatives who don't think they were ever good enough because we maybe didn't start as early as them, we don't dress the same way, we don't live the same way. So it's very unsettling. <laughs>